Welcome to Dahad United. One stop for everything. Manchester United. We only said sell everyone except for the youths and Bruno Fernandes. I'm here to go through all our first team players and let's see. You can vote in the comment section. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose buy sell loan. That's the video. Buy sell loan. And I'm gonna go straight to it, not to waste your time. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Every player I mention, leave a vote and tell me what we should do with this player. And also tell me how much you'll be willing to accept if we're if we're going to sell any player I mention. Let's go straight to it. On our defenders, we go straight to Victor Lindelof. Victor Lindelof was bought by Jose Mourinho. He has been here for years. He is a really decent backup option for the centre back. But I'll vote for Victor Lindelof to be sold. On to the next one, Harry Maguire. Also a decent option. He came in for 80 million pounds. Hasn't played anything close to 80 million pounds. He has his career as a whole as United has been has been poor. He has struggled. This season has been his best season, I can say, or second best season so far. I think he had one good season under Oleguna Sosha, even with all his mistakes. But this season, I think, is his second best season since he came to the club. He has been very vital for us this season. He has been playing well this season. But he's going to the Euros also. He performed very well in the Euros. Come on, cashing on Ari Maguire as fast as possible. I don't know who gave Ari Maguire 190000 per week and a six-year contract with, with, a, with an option of an additional year, which is like seven years. But if, we can, if he performs very well in the Euros, selling, selling Ari Maguire... For 35 billion, 30 million pounds would be awesome. So for me, Harry Maguire, definitely we sell. And on to the next one, Lisa Joe Martinez. Keep, come on. Martinez for me is our second best um, defender and a very vital defender for us, player for us um, in both defense and in attack. So Lisa Joe Martinez, definitely we keep. And next one, Ariel Malasia. He has been injury reading. Throughout this season, he didn't play any game this season. Of course, he disappeared throughout this season. Um, so for me, Tyrell Malaysia, we keep him basically because I don't think we can get any clubs that will, that will be willing to sell, to buy him because he has been injured all throughout the year and we can't sell him this summer. It is practically impossible to do that. We can't sell him. No club, no club willing to take that risk to buy him. And next, Diogo Dalo, one of our best players this season. Very, very good this season. The hunger, the fight, the determination, he has given it all this season. So for me, no too much talk. Diego Dalo stays 101%. And the next person, Luke Shaw. Also an injury prone player. Also coming in, also coming towards the end of his career. He had, he had a very bad injury earlier in his career and that is taking a toll on him. For me, Luke Shaw, I will keep him. He's a very, very good left back. On his time, on his day, he's the best in the Premier League by far. Even with his injury, he was he still picked for the Euro 2024 squad with the England team. Maybe he might not make the final cut, but he, he was picked in the provisional squad. And when he is fit, Luke Shaw is very, very good. So for me, I will keep and see if he can manage his injury throughout next season. And to the next person, we have Aaron Wambisaka. Very good defensively, very poor attacking-wise. We all know how we want to play. We want to play an attacking brand of football. And he is good defensively. But when it comes to going up front, he is shit. Dalo might be lacking defensively up front. But he is decent at defending. And he's also very good at attacking. So for me, Aaron Wambisaka needs to leave. Because we need to bring in a perfect complement to Diogo Dalo. Someone that can challenge Diogo Dalo. Because Aaron Wambisaka is not good enough to challenge Diogo Dalo for the right back position. So for me... Aaron Wambisaka, sell. We have Bano Williams who's out on loan, but will come back um, very soon. So for me, Bano Williams, youth candidate, he had, it, he had his time under um, Ole Gunnar Sosha. He's shit. He's not good enough. You sell Bano Williams without blinking an eye. And the next person, Johnny Evans, is very old. He has been good for this season. He's not meant to be in this team. I don't know why we signed Johnny Evans due to the incompetence of the of the of those in charge of transfers last summer, we signed Johnny Evans when we had the option to sign better permanent um or long term targets. We are great for Johnny Evans. So for me, Johnny Evans, let's go. We can't sell him. We, um, 
Um, yeah, he's too old. I don't think anybody, nobody's going to buy him. I think we gave him a one year contract or so. So for me, Johnny Evans, we let him go and we move on, getting proper targets in the summer transfer window. And to the midfield position, we have Sofiam Amrabat. Sofiam Amrabat is here on loan. Should we spend money to keep him permanently? Absolutely not. He has given us some very, some few, very few good games, but generally, I don't think Sofiam Amrabat is a good option for us. So for me, I will say send him back to Florentina and wave him goodbye. <laughs> and the next person on the list we have Mason Mount. Mason Mount was signed last year. He had a very poor season last year, injury reading season. Um I don't know why he was given the number seven shirt, but he's our he's I think he was meant to be the the Ericsson replacement, but even him and Ericsson zero. So we have to give Mason Mount he's a new signing. We have to give him one more year. Um Mason Mount still feels like doesn't I don't look like Messi Mount and see him as a United player yet. I don't know why. But let's see what happens with him next season. So for me, I will keep Messi Mount and see what we can do for him. What we can do with him um, next season. So Messi Mount, a keep. Bruno Fernandes is on the list. Our captain, our, our Portuguese Magnifico. Our Magician. Would you sell Bruno Fernandes at 29 years to make a huge profit on him now? Or would you leave him? Uh, will you keep him? To build this, to, to build our team around him. We really said, sell, Bruno, keep Bruno and the youth and sell everybody else. For me, I might be tempted to sell Bruno Fernandez if we get a very, very good offer, but I'll choose to keep him anyway. Except we get something like, you know, 80 million, 90 million, 100 million for him, then I would definitely sell him. But if we're getting 50, 40, 60, not good enough. 70, 75, Ah, I'll be tempted, but 80, I would sell Bruno Fernandez. But for me, that offer hasn't come yet, so I'm going to keep Bruno Fernandez. Christian Eriksen wants to play as many games as possible, but that's not going to happen. He definitely has no future at the club. He's old, his legs are weak, but yet he wants to play as United every week. That's impossible. So for me, I will sell Christian Eriksen and make as much money as I can get for him. And of course, that money won't be reasonable. But for me, I will sell Christian Eriksen for sure. Then Casemiro is next on the list. Like I said, Casemiro has, has had a poor season. But he's not going to, to, to the Copa America. Maybe if he gets some rest, come back next season, he'll be awesome. But it still depends on how much money we get for him. Saudi Pro League clubs are definitely interested in Casemiro. If a good offer comes for him, I would sell him. If not, I would like to keep him. Definitely. Because if we sell him, it means we have to get a new DM. I know how my United have been struggling to get a DM for some years until he came. And now, and now he's going to go after two seasons. And then we are back to square one looking for a new, a new DM. And if the club is as stupid as they were before, that they fail to realize how important a DM is for us, then we'll be in the same place we have been um, throughout the years before he came. So for me, Casemiro. It is highly likely a good offer is going to come for him. So if he, if he comes, I would tell um, Casemiro definitely. Then we have um, Facundo Pelestri next on the list. He has gone on loan. He has been on loan at um, Malaga. Yeah, he has been on loan at Malaga. He hasn't done anything so well on loan. According to the way it looks like, I don't think he has a future under Eric Ten Hag. Maybe under a new coach, but under Eric Ten Hag, it seems Eric Ten Hag doesn't really rate him. He has gone out on loan. He hasn't done wow on loan. So maybe Eric Ten Hag is right at the end of the day. So for me, Fagudo Pelestri, I would sell. And that is what, I think that's what he, he knows he's going to leave. And he definitely wants to leave. So for me, I will sell Fagudo Pelestri. Next, Donny van der Beek. I sell Donny van der Beek. No need to talk too much. Donny van der Beek is one of the worst transfers we have done so far. It just didn't work. Even on Eric Ten Hag, it didn't work. Donny van der Beek, sell. Next on the list, Scott McTominay has been here for years. Hasn't really been um, one of our best players over the years. He has been decent. Um, under Ole, yeah, it was like him and Fred had a rule whereby they run about. Um, he acted like our DM for some time, which was which, which was very bad at. Um, but now we are seeing him, seeing his goal scoring abilities off the bench. Because if you give Michael Shadford, uh, if you give uh, Scott McTominay a starting role at the uh, at, in the team, he doesn't do anything. And if you check it. Even when he comes off on the bench, even when he starts, if Scott McTominay doesn't score a goal, you basically does not, do not see him throughout the whole game. He hides. So what exactly is Scott McTominay 
going to do for us at this club because if he doesn't score a goal, he's basically absolutely useless. So what, is, what, is, what exactly does he do? He's 27. He's not. He's or 28. He's not a young player. He hasn't really stamped his authority on this team, and we can't have him as a bench player. We need to evolve our squad. So for me, I will sell Scott McTominay. He's a youth player. The profit from selling him is going straight. Um, can be used immediately without it going being divided or anything. It goes straight to our pockets. We can use that that money immediately. So 30, 25 million for him would go a long way for us. So for me, Scott McTominay, I sell. We have Hannibal. Hannibal is on loan as as Sevilla. He hasn't done really well. He has a, issues with his with his with his character. We know that's how he is. He's a very aggressive kind of player. He's still young. He needs to learn. So for me, I'll probably sell. Hannibal and putting a bye bye clause in there in case he becomes anything special in the future. So for me, Hannibal definitely has to go. And next on the list, we have Marcus Rashford. Very, very sensitive topic. What will you do with Marcus Rashford if you had the opportunity this summer? As of now, the only club that has been tipped to be interested in him is PSG due to the fact that Kylian Mbappe is leaving, has left them and he's probably going to, and he's definitely going to go to Real Madrid. Now they have to replace him. And according to the reports, they are probably going to spend a lot of money to sign almost two players to replace Kylian Mbappe. So, Marcus Rashford is a long-term target for them, and they might be looking to come over to buy him. But I don't think he will go. I don't, I don't think also PSG will even come for him at all. But in a situation whereby PSG comes in and offers 70 million pounds for Marcus Rashford, I would sell Marcus Rashford ideally. The most expensive player, he's a very inconsistent player, and we need change. We need the Indians group to make a statement in, drama, in the summer transfer window and sell someone that would, that everybody would be surprised that they sold. And maybe it could be Marcus Rashford, maybe. So for me, if a very good offer comes for him, an offer above 70 million, if it comes for him, I'm going to sell him. But let's see how many clubs is interested in Marcus Rashford. And next on the list is Anthony. Anthony is a 100 million flop, and I think we should sell Anthony. But of course, no clubs will offer us anything tangible for him, so we have to keep him. We have no choice. We are stuck in this, in this, in this hole. We have to keep him. We have to give him more chances to prove himself. And of course, we are going to sign a new winger, so yeah, we have more competition, and let's see if he can become anything special. But we bought this guy for 100 million. We are definitely not going to get anybody that's going to, that's going to come and, um, to buy him. But maybe we might get someone that will come in and give us a loan fee for him and take him out on loan for the for the year. But let's see what happens with that. So for me, Anthony, I'm leaning towards loaning him or keeping him. But selling him is practically impossible. Then for Jaden Sancho, 75 million pounds. We signed him two, um, three years ago. He hasn't really worked out very well. Has issues with the management. Has issues with the coach. Has gone to Dortmund on loan. Is is happier there. But Dortmund do not have the money to buy him. So for me, it's still the same thing. I wanted to sell. I wanted to sell. It's not the same thing. I wanted to sell. I wanted to sell Jason Sancho because he has two years left on his contract. If you don't sell him this season, if he goes on loan again and comes back next season, you have one year left. And we'll, we won't be able to get a tangible offer for him. So maybe we sell him with, um, over a long, like we sell him for a certain amount of money that will be paid instrumentally or something. Because we probably cannot sell him outright for 30 or 35 million. Maybe we will structure a deal that will go over some years. And maybe some clubs will be interested in selling it. But for Denis Sancho, I would I don't want a loan. I don't want us to keep him. I want us to sell Denis Sancho. Whether or not we will be able to do that. And then, the last person on the list. Very controversial topic. Many people want him back. Many people want him gone. Missy Greenwood. Talent-wise, of course, I want us to keep him. But with the issues surrounding him, for me, Mason Greenwood, we just have to sell him. We have no choice. Just have to sell him. It's going to be a disaster to keep Mason Greenwood. Honestly, it's going to be a disaster. Imagine playing away and you get people talking about rapists, you're a rapist, you're this, you're that. Even our home fans coming home, many United fans do not want him. The female, the female side of the fan base do not want him back. So it's going to be a, the drama is going to be too much. And, and in a season whereby we want to rebuild the squad, we want to, a lot of positivity to the squad, having Missing Greenwood in a team is going to be destructive to that. So for me, Missing Greenwood 
we have to sell him. He has two years left in his contract. We cannot loan him again to Gatafe. We need to sell him outrightly to the highest bidder this summer. Juventus, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, if Gatafe also are interested in him. Although Barcelona are saying they're not, they're not interested, but the rest are very interested in him. There was even released last week that Napoli are also interested in Greenwood because they're going to sell Victor, Victor Sime, um this summer. So they're looking at getting replacement for him and Greenwood could be one of the replacements they could get for him. So if someone can come in with 30 million pounds for Greenwood, I will sell. He's a youth player, um, homegrown player. Any amount we get for him goes straight to our budget and we can use a hundred percent of, of that fee to sign players. So some of these players I've, men I've mentioned, you can sell Rashford, you can sell <laughs> Rashford, Rashford, you can sell Rashford, but it's not realistic, but we can sell Maguire realistically, you can sell Greenwood, can sell, we can sell McTominay. We can sell who else? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. We can sell Lindelof. These four, five players I just mentioned, we can get over 120 million for these five, for these four players. And if we do that, we have 120 million to add to maybe the 100 million we have. So if we have 120 million in, in selling in money raised through sales, you add 100 million to that. We have 220 million to spend in so much as far window. And it's being reported that United, are, United are, going, are not going to pay outrightly for players we buy. We are going to offer a structured payment on our transfer fees. So that means we can use 200 million or 220 million to sign as many as five, six players. And if we sell someone like, oh, add Casemiro to the list of players we can sell also. So if we sell someone like maybe Rashford or Bruno for as high as 70 million euro. That's more money we, maybe everything won't go down to the budget, but we, that's more money we can, you can use to sell players. So tell me in the comment section below, keep, buy, loan, Manchester United squad.